Crazy, crazy cheese ball. Ooh, Ooh large cheese ball, large cheese ball. I'm gonna it. <laughs> super, super creamy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. Please take another bite, please. Oh, focus. Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. I'm just getting from it. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Ah, oh, baby, that broke cheese. Yes, me. Wow. I'm talking about ultimate mac and cheese. Just enough saltiness from taste the hand of that garlic. Oh my goodness. I'll be all by itself. Oh, Ooh, baby. Oh, yes, honey. <laughs> it's so good. It is so, so, so good. How you guys doing today? Hope I'm all as well. Mmm. The key to mac and cheese, for every pound of macaroni you have, you need at least two pounds of cheese to make it cheesy and creamy. Have a minimum, and that's at the minimum. Have at least two pounds of cheese. Sometimes you might wonder, when mac and cheese is creamy, it comes out dry. Two pounds of cheese for every one pound, so if you have a half pound of macaroni, of course, use a whole pound of cheese. That's, <clears throat> that's how I go. Okay. But I've got how many pounds of cheese in here? One, two, probably a total of three. Very good. Mm. Hey guys, don't forget, at the end of some of my videos, I do giveaways, yes baby, giveaways. So, don't forget to kind of start watching till the end. You know what? Here we go, come on. Please be good, please be good, please be good. Ooh, yes. This is exactly what I needed. I'm gonna try mac and cheese food because this might be too big actually. Oh. Oh. Mm. This is so good guys. I'm not easily impressed by mac and cheese. A lot of people like, oh, this is the most amazing mac and cheese recipe and I'm like, it all ends up tasting kind of bland. This is so good. It's so creamy. It's mild still, but the cream cheese maybe is what's doing it. There's just this like slight, I wouldn't even call it a tang, but it's just balancing out the rest of the flavor so it's not so one note. Oh my gosh. You know what this tastes like? Just Stouffer's, which I love. It's so hot. It's so hot. It's so good. I'm so glad that I added the Belvita and the American. They're both such good melting cheeses. They feel just luxurious when eating. That's something in my opinion you just can't really get from cheddar. Not as much. Winning combination, guys. I like topping mac and cheese with just cheese way more than the breadcrumb situation. I know it adds that like crunchy element, but you're still getting like there's like crunchy noodles on the side here on the edge. I 
I'm gonna way more of this than I should. <laughs> Ready, My mouth is watering. Okay, first bite. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so good. Okay, this has six different cheeses in it. So I'll put the recipe in the description because my sister just used a recipe she found online, but this literally has six different kinds of cheese in it. Oh my gosh. Hawk. Okay, and then for today's video, I also asked you guys on the YouTube community tab, um, I asked you, so I wanted to do like a who would you rather tag, I don't know, if you've ever seen Ellen's um, show, she does it a lot with people on her show, so basically it's like, I'll read out one name at a time and do like who would you rather, and then it's kind of like you see who the person ends up with at the end, so I got a lot of comments on it, which is cool, but I don't think I'll be able to obviously get through all of them, so I'm just going to be like scrolling through my phone and like picking random names. I don't know if you can see like how cheesy it is. It's literally so good though. It was like I've always wanted Bella to end up with Jacob. Just because Taylor Lautner is like, well, he's not really as relevant anymore, but back when Tyler was popular, like, he was so hot, so yeah, I'd probably pick Jacob. He's so hot, so Leo wins that one. He is just unreal, so I would choose Tom Hardy. He's, I think in real life he's only like 5'7 or 5'6, but I would still choose him.